Susie, welcome back to My Stone Kitchen. Today we have a viewer that requested a little bit of insight on how to roast, brine and roast a chicken. So we're gonna talk about that and I'm gonna teach you how to spatchcock, that's the word of the day, spatchcock a chicken. And then we're gonna brine it in some buttermilk with some salt and then combine it with some Brussels sprouts and potatoes for a one sheet pan, quick, delicious dinner. So spatchcocking a chicken is another word for it is butterflying. And here's your whole chicken. Love these. Feels like I got a baby in my hands here. And what we're going to do when you spatchcock the chicken is simply remove the backbone and it'll butterfly the chicken and allow it to cook more evenly and in about half the time. So very simple. All you need is a boning knife, a sharp boning knife. You know how I feel about knives. And your chicken, this is breast side up. We're gonna flip it backbone side up and take a good hold of it by the neck. And what we're gonna do is run the knife down the backbone of the chicken as close as we can get so that we can just simply get that, get that backbone cut right out of there. Some people like to use um, a pair of scissors to do this job but I'm a knife girl, so I stick with my knife. So I go simply down one side, and you can see the backbone is, is right here. Then we're gonna grab it and simply go down the other side. One backbone. Now, if you're a real, a real purist or you have lots of time on your hands, I would take this and some of the other bones and make a stock out of it, but I don't have time for that today. So there's your chicken with the backbone removed. Now what we're going to do is see how flat it lays on the, on the counter. And once it starts to lay flat, I'm going to give it a little push, flatten it a little more. And then I'm going to flip it back over. And this is actually the, the breastbone in here. And I'm going to pop that. And some people actually remove this little piece of cartilage in here. And I will do that just for the just for the sake of the process. And some people leave this, this bone in, but I prefer to take it right out. Okay. And there we go, we have a butterfly chicken. I also take off these little wing bones because they just burn and get too hot. And that's super simple. You just bend them back and then you find the joint where they cut right through. Couldn't be easier actually, <laughs> she says. All right, and now we have what you call a butterfly or a spatchcock chicken. So what I'm gonna do now is get some paper towel, dry it off, There we go. And some people take a little bit of, if you're not doing the brining in the buttermilk, some people actually take um, butter, you know, with, with, with chives and garlic and tuck it up under the skin, which makes it really, so you can just get your, literally get your fingers right up in there and tuck some, some flavored butter up in there and under this side too, and then smear it over the top. That's a wonderful option. But I really like my super easy, spatchcock chicken with buttermilk. So I just take this lovely chicken and I put it in a Ziploc. Looks a little funny, I know, stuffing it right in there. Chicken in a bag. Take a quart of buttermilk and pour it in. One thing I also do is right before the end, I put some salt in my buttermilk. Give that a spin. And then I simply close the bag, getting all the air out. 
sometimes I put it, I double bag it just so I don't want it sh leaking all over my refrigerator. And I'll put this in here for overnight or at least six hours. And if you do it overnight, the next morning, take it out, give it a spin, and just make sure it's not leaking all over your refrigerator. But we're gonna pull this out in a couple in a, in, in a in some time, pop it on my sheet tray, and make a phenomenal one sheet pan dinner. Now it's time to put this marinated chicken in the oven. I've let it marinate for about six hours. It's best if it's overnight. And because um, it really, you want the acid in the buttermilk to permeate the chicken. It breaks the protein down, makes it super, super tender. But in a rush, you know, who plans dinner the day before? So the way I get this chicken out of the bag is put it in a colander or something that kind of keeps it stable. And then I just lift it out. And I'm actually gonna put it right on my cutting board. And make sure it's not too full of, and actually, and if you leave this chicken in the, in the refrigerator overnight or for even for two days, the buttermilk solidifies a little bit more and you actually have to kind of smear it off. But this is, a, this is a, in good shape. And we're gonna lay this girl right on the cookie sheet. And the reason that we spatchcock or butterfly a chicken is that it cuts down the cooking time so significantly. So it's just a great thing to do because it evens out the cooking process also, which is what I love. Because sometimes you get a chicken where the, the legs are done, the breast is still kind of, kind of undercooked, and it's more difficult to get it all, all timed just perfectly. What I'm doing is a one sheet pan meal here and taking my diced potatoes, my um, Brussels sprouts and my, and my diced onion and I'm just laying it around the chicken. And popping this, actually, I'm gonna give it a little dusting of salt and pepper on the top also. Perfect. Put it right in the oven at 350 degrees. Keep your, keep your eye on it and be out in a minute. So here we have our spatchcock buttermilk brined roasted chicken one sheet pan meal. Couldn't be easier.